Uh, good morning. Welcome back to the old Polish farm. It's December. Wow. I see up there in the uh, top right hand corner that we're going to get some snow sometime. We'll have to take a look at the weather forecast, figure that out after we get ourselves some coffee. I left off last night that or late yesterday afternoon, probably around supper time because I like climbing on tables. No. Um <clears throat> It was getting too dark, we were plowing a field and just really couldn't see. Because we've rolled over into another month, that might affect some contracts. Guy. The maze of doors. I'm sorry. just uh, so I think I parked in here with the plow on it I hope yeah go check on the uh, ah we can see the oil seed radish now yeah there we go so that'll give us a fertilizing state on this field when we eventually do put a crop in that we're going to harvest. <clears throat> and we could actually cultivate that in now if we had time. I wonder if weeds would grow after we did that. I don't know. Look in on the cows here quickly. I, uh, yep. A little bit of food, a little bit of straw. Hello, cow. Hey, bossy. Hey, bossy. Yeah, girl. All right, I think they're okay for now. I am still concerned about the feed situation, but we'll probably be all right. So we're in December 1, and we have snow in the forecast. We've got the uh, field to harvest. What? No. We got the field to finish plowing. What am I talking about? Oh, Lord. Give me a second. So it looks like it's going to start snowing around noon and for the rest of the day. Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> So I think we better get up and finish plowing that field. I don't know how long it's going to take. Plowing is kind of slow, especially when you got a two-furrow plow like we do. We'll go ahead and close this since it's cold. I've been thinking about how I attacked the field last night in the dark started and I'm not sure I like the way I started which way cross to the right so I may adjust how we're attacking that field so let's get up the hill here and get a good look at it in the daylight
hopefully we can finish plowing this. I don't know if there will be much opportunity to do any more work once the snow comes. So if we're in good position to start uh, I've got this long axis on this side, and I don't like how I'm curving around with it there, so... <clears throat> I'm thinking what I might do... Come to that corner over there and start throwing it in to the field because that's a pretty good long axis so start in this corner going that way <clears throat> I think that's better than what I had been doing is still fairly flat it's mostly like little bits of micro terrain and whatnot out a little more but <clears throat> beautiful morning <laughs> nice brisk December morning I don't think I gotta go over what I already did How long did I spend last night working on this? I don't remember. A little while, because plowing just takes absolutely forever. quite the zoom out there, huh? already. I don't know if I'm going to get done before the snow even starts.
Yeah, I can see this taking some time. Oh, a train. Pay attention to what I'm doing over here. This must be another of Conrad's fields. I mean, it's right around his place. The back and the side of it. Just nice of Conrad to help a guy out. This, yeah. I'm hoping I get done by the time it starts snowing. <laughs> nice colors, though, in the winter, in the morning.
think if it had been anybody other than Conrad, I would have gave up on this a long time ago. This is taking a ridiculous amount of time. I even slowed down time. And it's still, what, almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I slowed down time from 6 times to 3 times speed before noon. I think. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't think I'll ever do a plowing contract for anyone again. Uh, with a non-reversible plow where you gotta go around and come back in. And then when you're only doing less than a meter at a time, there's very little room for error. So you end up going over plowed ground again and again and again. There's and it's hard to control the overlap. So yeah. I even thought about using uh, Conrad's spader here, uh, and it wouldn't let me. He said it could, but the game wouldn't let me. I don't know why, because it was a plowing contract, and it was not a plow, even though a spader does the same thing. So I don't know. Maybe I will say that it's broken, and maybe Conrad will give it to me, and I can have a spader, but it wouldn't be able to be used for contracts. Let me get paid here. So yeah, that's not bad, but wow, for what it took out of us, it was an awful lot. Once I get back home, I'll speed the time back up to six times speed. I don't know if we're going to do anything else today. I think we're going to have to time-lapse and jump cut, cut that uh, plowing. Which means that uh, this episode is probably going to continue on into December, too. And since there won't be a lot of contract work, I think we can work on the project tractor. And maybe we can go get some parts since there's not a whole lot of farming work to be done kind of cold to be washing equipment since it's obviously around freezing temperatures I think it's going to snow the rest of the day it's not sticking yet so we'll see how that turns out for us Put the plow back over here where we keep it. some work on this tractor. clean. 
got that going for us. I guess the snow kind of counts as precipitation and Some reason it doesn't want to work. There we go. That was interesting. Hmm. So I guess I'll close the door since it's cold out. And we're gonna, I guess, Try and figure out what's going on with the uh, with this one. Now I've been trying to get the engine turnover, and it almost feels like it's frozen a little bit. I put some oil in the in the cylinders, try and free it up some, but I don't know. This is uh, not going to be good. I don't know if we're going to be able to save this engine or not. So let's uh, see if we can drain the oil out of it. And we'll start tearing the engine down. Should take the battery out and put it on the charger as well. Do have a battery charger. I can't seem to move it. So I'll we'll have to take the battery to the battery charger. And this is going to take some major, major work, I think. So our list of parts is getting longer and longer. So I think we're going to end up doing what you'd probably call a major overhaul. Borderline rebuild on this engine. I don't know if you can get new parts. I'm probably going to get decent old parts try and put it together best I can then I don't know what we're going to do with this because I think this thing probably only has about 30 35 horsepower compared to the 25 we have with the um with the zero or 25k over here so it's not really going to help much it's not any bigger that's for sure and probably has negligible improvement over horsepower on it with a hammer it'll help nah it's <laughs> not gonna help anything with it. realize I forgot to speed time back up six times. Like I said I was going to. It's not, still not sticking though. That's good.
Well, we've gotten pretty far on the disassembly of the uh, T25 project tractor here. See, we've got our parts on the shelves here. And I'm making my list of what we need to get. And I think we might... have to make a trip to go get some parts gonna have to rent a van I think that's not gonna be cheap not looking forward to that but certainly not gonna drive to another town on this uh, open tractor and need to carry stuff well, I guess I could take it yeah I'll rent a van So I think that's probably enough for tonight. Make some phone calls in the house. And, uh, wow. Oop. I don't know why, but the snow's not sticking. It's crazy. See you in the morning. Make some supper and then uh, probably make some phone calls. We'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Figure out where we're going to go from there.